A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. The boy and I do welcome you to the last video of 2023. The year is almost over. And a lot of stuff happened to all of us this year. And I think it was kind of a good year. It was a year with a lot of frustration too. But we got through it. We are still alive. At least I do hope that you are still alive. You're watching. Boy, I'm, I'm going to put you over here. Okay, just like snack. And I'm going to bring an end to this year with this differential equation. Y prime is equal to x plus y. It's not hard. It's not a hard differential equation, but the way I'm presenting it to you today, how to solve it, is a fantastic way, at least in my opinion. It's very cool and I could come up with seven different ways minimum to solve this thing using Laplace transform substitutions, etc. But this particular way is pretty cool, I think, and I would love to show it to you. And Try it out before watching the video. And once you're done, keep watching the video for Le Solution. By the way, this video has been sponsored by the wonderful people over on Brian. More information at the end of the video. And now we are going to dive right in. So this right here is just the first order differential equation. You could bring y to the other side and then use a substitution, for example, an ansatz and solve for everything, yada, yada, yada. Does so it does work out like that. But I would like to go a different approach here, namely, I would like to differentiate both sides with respect to x and see what we are going to get from that point onwards. If we do that, then y prime differentiated with respect to x is going to turn into y double prime is equal to x differentiated with respect to x is just 1. And then we are going to get plus the differential of y and x, which is y prime. Okay, I'm going to differentiate this right here another time and see what we are going to get out. Now, if we do this, then y double prime is going to turn into y triple prime. It's equal to 1 is going to vanish, it's a constant, and y prime is going to be differentiated just y double prime. And here's where the interesting part starts. The third derivative of y with respect to x is the same as the second derivative. But we know what the second derivative of y is. This is the same as 1 plus y prime. And this right here is a very cool relationship that we can make now use of. But before we get to that, I would like to find out what the second derivative of y prime actually looks like in the first place. And for that, we are going to start with this point right here. Now, we have the differential of a function, you could say. Our function being y double prime it's going to turn into itself once again. So if we introduce a simple substitution here, let t of x be equal to y double prime, then the derivative of t is going to be the third derivative of y. If we plug this in, then we are going to get the relationship that t prime is equal to t. And we all know what the unique solution to this differential equation right here is if we don't take trivial solutions into account. It's going to be the exponential function. How can you get to that point formally? You can divide both sides by t, giving us t prime divided by t is equal to 1. Then you can integrate both sides with respect to x. On this side, what you're going to get is just x plus some arbitrary constant c. And on this side, dx and here we get dt divided by dx, you could say. This and that part is going to cancel out, kind of, okay, this is, you can formally introduce a substitution. I made several videos on that, my differential equation playlist, check it out. dt divided by t is just going to turn into the natural log of t. And if we now take the exponential function on both sides, what we are going to get is that t, which is nothing other than y double prime, is going to be equal to e to the x plus c, or in other words, some constant c, um, times e to the x. This is what y double prime looks like. And by this relationship here, we can immediately see that it needs to be like this, if it's not a trivial solution. Now we can plug this into here, and then we can continue with our process. If we plug this into the relationship that y double prime is the same as 1 plus y prime, then we are going to get that um, 1 plus y prime is equal to c times e to the 
x or if we bring the one to the other side by subtracting it we are going to get that y well, prime is of the form c times e to the x minus one and what we can do now is we can integrate both sides with respect to x yet again to get back to y of x and then we are almost done i'm saying almost here because this differential equation has a cool little twist to it once again if we differentiate both uh, if we integrate both sides with respect to x i'm terribly sorry then we are going to get y of x out the solution to our differential equation being if we integrate c times e to the x with respect to x we are going to get c times e to the x out integrating negative one with respect to x is going to result in negative x plus some arbitrary constant i'm going to call this constant kappa for now this right here is the general solution to our differential equation but as mentioned before there's another little twist to it namely the second constant that we call kappa right here is actually in this system uniquely determined and this follows if we once again take a look at our relationships that we get right here and what i would like to do is on the original differential equation that we got right here you are going to notice that we have an x in here meaning if we plug in a certain value for x then we can try to solve our system of equations what we got here is a huge system of equations with different things that we got this right here is also part of the system of equations so why not plug zero into our x on this first original differential equation making the x vanish if we do that then what we are going to get is that y prime of zero is equal to zero plus and y of zero obviously this part right here is just gonna vanish giving us overall that y prime of zero is the same as y of zero okay if we take a look at y of zero then if we plug this in y of zero is the same as c times e to the zero which is just c minus zero plus kappa so y of zero is overall the same as c plus kappa this right here is a relationship that we can now use but now we only have one equation basically with two unknowns we need to get into a bit more detail here when it comes to the other equations that we got let us just take a look at the other ones and see what we still have here for example we have another equation for y prime if we plug zero into here now we are going to get c times e to the zero which is the same as c minus one so we also know that y prime of zero is the same as c minus one but we know what y prime of zero is y prime of zero is the same as y of zero but y of zero is c plus kappa so this thing right here is actually nothing other than c plus kappa so if we now subtract c on both sides we are going to get that kappa is uniquely de determined as being negative one so the solution to our differential equation is c times e to the x minus x minus one and i think this solution is extremely elegant and it all comes back to you with the exponential function by differentiating your original differential equation twice and i think this right here is one of the most elegant solutions you could have to this very differential equation and i was very proud of myself when i figured it out <laughs> for myself i did it with um just substitution at first and then a bit of laplace transforms i'm always trying around with different methods and then it struck me with this one right here um it's it's just absolutely cool and i hope you did enjoy what you have seen here today and this was the last video of this year but if you don't want to stop with mathematics or maybe differential equations maybe you want to get into the groove once again then the content of today's sponsor print might be the perfect fit for you now we all know over the christmas holidays and new years and the like we get lazy especially if you're a student you know that you still have a break till mid january or something of that sort and i don't want you guys to get lazy i want you guys to take yourself some new year's resolutions and keep at it keep learning new things in stem or try to just stay up to date with the things you are learning at the moment and as mentioned before 
Brilliant might be the perfect fit for you. It might be the perfect source for you to learn something new on a daily basis, even during the holidays and the New Year's season. If you're not familiar with Brilliant yet, just hear me out for a second. Brilliant is the best, in my opinion, online learning platform that you can find out there on the internet. It doesn't matter what you want to learn today. If you want to learn about differential equations or maybe just their graphical interpretation in a face space, for example, or anything of that sort, or maybe you want to learn something in physics or maybe the applications of differential equations in physics. It really doesn't matter what you strive for learning this season. Brian definitely got something up the sleeve for you. And as mentioned before, they not only teach you things like solving differential equations in different kind of ways. No, they also take a highly visual approach to the problems. Meaning, if you want to solve a differential equation, you don't need to go through all of the stuff right here. No, you can, for example, use numerical methods and get yourself, by approximations, a family of solutions. And then you can do, for example, an interpolation of the points for this approximation and get yourself a family solution curve out. And this is just one of the graphical interpretations how you could solve a differential equation that you don't know much about or even how to solve it algebraically or the like in the first place. And this is where Brilliant really shines at and what they are best at. Transferring knowledge to the user in a highly visual and playful manner. You can play around with the graphics and the visuals. You don't need to sit there and watch a video for like 10 minutes straight. No, it's totally different. You take a graph and you play around with the levers and you can vary the, the parameters, um, for, for example, on Kappa or C or whatever. Just check it out. If you don't want to take my word for it, just try it out for completely free. 30 day free trial by using my link at the top of the description, brain.org slash 30 day free trial, as mentioned before, you can try out the whole landscape of Brain for completely free. And if you think this could be the website for you, the app for the whole year of 2024, then definitely make sure to make complete use of the link and get 20% off your annual premium subscription now. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And this concludes the year 2023. And with the advent calendar, I was actually able to upload so many videos this year. It was nice. It was nice to be back at it again. And I hope we are going to produce even more videos in the coming year. And I hope you are going to be still there to support me. Also, if you want to see the boy being cooked, <laughs> no, I'm not going to cook the boy, but if you want to see cooking videos, very funny ones at that, at least I do think so, then definitely make sure to check out NP Cooking, my NPC channel. I'm going to post more regularly once again, um, now that the advent calendar is over and I hope the channel will get monetized in the near future such that I can actually get money back for the things that I bought once again. Oh my goodness, the depression, the, the depression, oh, so much stuff, but never mind that. Subscribe to NP Cooking and I'm thanking you guys for the year. It was great and up in the next video I wish you guys a flammable day. See ya. Stay safe please.